This topic is on notes and memos. Notes and memos are used widely by estimators and are typically tagged to items in an estimate. If you look at the top of my, my group of estimate items here, the project manager, you'll see over to the left a yellow sticky note. That's indicative that there's a note on the item. Um, we can click down here or we can double click in here to see the item note. You can also have a memo on an item. If I click down there. You can see now that I have a note and a memo on the project manager, which usually raises the question from customers, why, why the two and what's the difference? They both are text boxes. They both have the same number of characters. However, a memo can uh, be tagged to an item in the database. And what that means is that when you add an item in from the database to the estimate, the memo would come with it. That's very useful for people such as MEP contractors who might have a detailed uh, description but don't necessarily want to show that in the item description. So their item description might be 1 8 inch fitting type Y. Um, the memo might have a whole paragraph of information on exactly what that does. When you go to print your reports, you can print notes or memos or both. And so that leads some estimators to use notes and memos in different ways. They may use notes for themselves or for their supervisor to look at the estimate. And they may use the memo or um, notes that they want to print out for the customer. So when you're doing a page setup or a page style, you could have the option here to print. Like if you're doing a customer report, you might print on item memo, but not the notes. But if you're doing an internal report, you may do both. So that's an option and a widely used way of uh, differentiating, differing between notes and memos. You can also have notes and memos on tables. You may have seen that in the page style print options here. So there's table notes and table memos. And that can be fairly useful too because you can set up your um, work breakdown structures and put notes on those and then they would show up here in the estimate sheet. So if you had, for example, like in here, you can um, put a note on uh, division one. Okay. And then you have an option to print that or not print it. Very useful feature, fairly simple and widely used. You can also filter on it. So if you put in a column, for example, like a notes column, if you're using a lot of short notes, it's a great way to get to them. And you could filter on it um, based on, does the item have a note? So you could set up a filter that says, just show me everything that has notes. And that's a good way for estimators to follow up on things. Widely used feature, uh, fairly simple, I think, and uh, very useful.